Exciting, exciting stuff. Uh, this is the semi-finals best of five uh, for the Out of Sync Cup between Spring and the Viper. The Viper is currently 2-0 and the third game here will be Arena, which is something that Spring, I think, is probably not too happy with. Um, but yeah, Especially if you're uh, with your back against the wall against the Viper and have yeah. to win like three games in a row, which is nearly impossible for any player in the world. Yeah, I think so as well. Obviously, this is a best of five, so if the Viper takes this game, he will advance to the finals. And I'll, I'm sure Spring is going to give him a very good run for his money, uh, give him a good fight. Uh, but Arena is something that I think is very different to all of the maps that we've had so far. Obviously, with all of the maps we've had so far in, in this tournament, they've all been very open, very uh, easy to raid in the, in the Feudal Age. But in this situation... Um, it's going to be the case where it's going to be a fast castle. There's no question about it. And even a very fast Imperial is potentially on the cards here. So I was, I was very excited to see how Arena will play out here. What do you, what do you think will be um, the sort of strategy that both these people guys go for? Um, yeah, it definitely depends on uh, what sip they get. And Frank War, I feel it's tough to get too much pressure on a castle because you can castle defense so easily yes. and I feel like both players have to go to Imperial Age yeah. and then the unit choice is quite difficult to make um, even deathmatch player I haven't figured it out too 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 uh, much like you have to act Harps, Pulse and Axemen yeah. and sometimes Onis I think um, Axemen are, are always worthwhile. Um, yeah, Axemen, Onis, and Halves should be quite a good choice if you don't get um, unlimited gold. Yeah, yeah, obviously, you know, well, Axemen are a great sort of counter to trash as well. So, I mean, if you do manage to save some gold and collecting the relics, uh, spending that on Axemen later on, um, I think such a good worthwhile investment. But, you know, as you say, it's so easy to counter a castle here because Franks with their cheaper castles, they will be able to, if they do a castle drop, uh, defend it fairly easily. And it will, I think, be a race to the Imperial Age, definitely. Yeah, that's true. Um, another uh, Turbo Random tournaments we played in, Spring always performed great as well there. Um, he didn't show two great performances in Arena, um, but oh wow, now he doesn't have any food in the CC at the moment, and a lot of idle villagers. Oh, right, under that's the CC. Cool. Yeah, 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 that's not good. Uh, okay, missing his sheep, look. Yeah, bad yeah, start he didn't for him. find four of his sheeps um, too early. Uh, finishing my thought, um, yeah, it's quite easy to defend castle pushes and spring knows that and I think the wiper should have figured it out by now as well. Yeah, I think the biggest problem here for Spring is that this is such a terrible start for him. Um, he's not taking any deer because they are outside the walls and he's not lured them in. Um, he was so late to find those four sheep and meanwhile, Viper's already clicked up to the feudal age and he will be feudal in a second. He's luring wow. those deer in and, well, he's still got those sheep left as Spring well. What is Spring doing? Both players are playing with a stable, or at least barracks start. Yeah. Well, and it's gonna spring be... without any gold. Now go sending three villagers on gold, which is way too much. I don't know, maybe he's trying to get the gold very quickly and focus on getting the food in, because he was very late to get the food, remember. So I don't know, I mean, he's not even taking his second ball yet, he's bringing that in now. I, oh, very, very strange. Uh, Viper here going stable blacksmith, so I think maybe looking to take some map control in the Fuel Age. Uh, sorry, in the Castle Viper Age. Viper will be so much faster on Castle Age. Oh, he will. Already 50% in Spring doesn't even have first building up of Fuel Age. Man, I don't know how he's managed to... I think he got really thrown off by the fact that he didn't find those sheep, and he was just like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um... He's not got the, he's got the gold, he hasn't got the wood for the second feudal building. Yeah. Uh, um, what are the regulations concerning restarts? I think so it was before minute? four minutes or something. I think it was oh, before that's four. Oh, that's a random map, I feel. Yeah, probably a little bit. But... And... <laughs> Wiper is asking whether relics are uh, yeah, collecting faster, and yes, they are. Yeah, they are, but Viper's already castle. He's getting knights out now, looking to get some map control. Gonna, he's probably going to get all of these relics before this, before Spring gets yeah. a monastery up, I imagine. He's yeah, out. pretty sure we get all, yeah. This is very messy from Spring at the moment. Um, and I, I, 
I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's literally 5 a.m. in the morning for him, or if it's just because he's not comfortable on arena. I think he just feels very overwhelmed. Um, you know, getting housed like that and not having your second feudal age building. I mean, a fast castle is a very simple thing to do. You wouldn't think That's that it true. would be so difficult. Adding a second stable, what the fuck, and a monastery. No, yeah, it can't be good. He's gonna make and knights. Why about like putting that. on the pressure with a siege bar shop? Uh, I'm not feeling that this is a great choice. Yeah, I think so too. Viper gonna get a few relics here as well, which is just gonna. You know, Housed again. Wow, he... <laughs> spring not playing to his potential. I feel. No, I agree. I think Viper here, if he does get all of these relics, I mean, he's probably gonna be in a great position anyway. But even if he gets all, if he gets all of these relics, think about how much relic gold you'll get from five relics on Turbo Random. You're yeah, just we... gonna get so much gold in. It's just gonna be, you know, so difficult for your opponent to come back at you after that. Yeah, yesterday we had like in 30 minutes, two relics got 4.4k or something. Mm. So yeah, it's so you're gonna quite look huge. at yeah, you're gonna be looking at like almost 10k uh, for, yeah, for five half an hour. for five relics. Yeah, in half an hour, that's a lot. Yeah, true. So the viper yeah. getting quite aggressive here with this ram. He's going Eddie style. <laughs> Monks, uh, Siege, and, and Ram. Yeah, uh, Eddie wouldn't add to uh, such a lot of knights. No, he wouldn't. He, he would go for like three monasteries. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we got an unusual spot that Spring actually could raid Wipers Eco. <laughs> yeah, uh, on Arena. Right hand side, he's left it open. But I don't think Spring has spotted that at all. And well, Spring gonna get one conversion here. Uh, just getting converted by the Viper as well. But Viper, oh. So yeah, good, he, he deleted his knight. The monk gets flattened yeah, by the mangonel. That was such a great trade for the viper there. Uh, gonna be taking down this wall now, and well, Spring's forced into the defensive position, putting up a siege workshop. Probably gonna look to get a mangonel out here as quickly second as Second barracks he can. and second stable, and now he will put on the pressure of his pikemen and knights. Yeah, it's um, it's not even up to Spring at the moment. <laughs> yeah, Dave. Honestly, that start for Spring was so horrible. Uh, yeah. He really, really could have done a lot better at the start there. Missing the sheet was huge. And, well, we'll see how well he can defend this right now. The Viper at the moment, though, as you say, pushing with two stables, two barracks, uh, monks, mangonels, uh, whatever whatever floats his boat, really. And I feel like the uh, defense upgrade for Knight isn't too great. Uh, you should always opt for the offensive upgrade. Because it's affecting uh, your spearmen and your knights. Yeah, obviously in this situation that would be good. Um, I like the fact he's got a scorpion out though here. Actually, Spring managing to defend reasonably well at the moment. Yeah, feels uh, so too. He, he's doing a, a pretty good job there. He did get a conversion on one of those. Knights. And he has one extra TC in comparison yes. to Viper, who's just building his first extra TC. Yeah. So he's... I feel like Spring evened out the game. Well, I think so too, actually. Um, you know, the scores may say otherwise, but I really think the fact he had this second TC up much earlier, well, look at the difference in villagers. They've actually got the equal, uh, an equal amount of villagers, though, um, which I think is due to Viper having a much better early game. But I definitely think he's started to even it out a little bit here. And with the addition of these um, scorpions, he should deal with the, um, with the pikemen pretty easily from the Viper, actually. And two conversions and killed the rest without any losses. And now he can heal his knights. Yeah, with, with, the, with the great monks. fight for spring. Definitely, he's got now the collecting the relics. Oh wow, yeah, that's a really good point as well. Um, he has just taken the military um, lead, like in terms of actual how many, how much military he's got. But I don't know what the Viper's going to do in this situation now. I feel like he's probably just going to try and boom up and defend as well. But and he's with five villagers in stone now, so Spring will want to push with Castle. I feel. Yeah, I think so as well. But at the moment, Spring is lacking that third TC, which I think is quite a big deal actually. Um, uh, he will put the pressure on on the Viper, so yeah, he will. He will be able to defend with an, <laughs> another cheap castle. I feel. Eco raiding. Coming in from the right yeah. side wall uh, as a whole, but yeah, no problem. It, you know, interestingly enough here, um, Spring has killed 19 units and lost 15. The Viper has killed 15 and lost 24. So that, that ratio for, for Spring is much better than the Viper at the moment. So, you know, Spring trading his units very well at the moment. Um, I feel just really lacking that third TC is, is probably quite costly for him. 
No, that's true. And, well, surprisingly, actually, look at the resources. Spring can afford to go to the Imperial Age now, and Viper, yep. well... And it's building a little castle. Yeah. yeah so, I feel like Spring can transition out of this quite okay, and can do the X-Men, and Viper will do his defense castle as well, so we will see the X-Men war in Imperial, as we predicted. Yeah, it just With some like... entertainment in between. <laughs> yeah, it quite just right seems... It does seem like that way. Um, I'm surprised, really surprised that Spring managed to get a much faster Imperial time here. Uh, the Viper's just clicking up now, and well, that's a very big difference, but uh, Viper does have an extra seven villagers, which is really going to add a lot of extra resources into the bank for him uh, whilst he goes up to the Imperial Age. So, well, I think Spring has to act pretty quickly here, and we'll see exactly what he does, but Axeman's starting to come out now, and well, maybe we'll see the Cavalier upgrade, uh, but he, I don't think he has enough knights to really justify that. Oh wait, no, he does. <laughs> he does. I was gonna uh, say he only had three knights there, but I didn't see the the group of knights coming in on the right hand side. Yeah, but I feel like Spring is not the guy who will go for heavy cavaliers and instead of uh, Wiper who might do this. And I feel like Spring is missing out on one relic at the at the right side. Yeah, considering that's so close to his wall, I'm surprised he's not seen that or noticed it. Uh, he must have done, surely, but I think Spring in a great position now. He's got the Cavalier upgrade done. Uh, obviously, Frank's Heavy Cavalry just so great when it gets upgraded due to the extra uh, HP bonus that they get. And uh, Axeman out as well. Upgrades wise, well, his infantry isn't upgraded oh, at all. Oh, evil raiding at the bottom and might... Ooh. Kill all the villagers before finishing the castle. Yeah, that castle is probably not going to go up. That was actually a really good timing for him. Yeah, evil timing. Yeah, Spring's just like, what? But the interesting thing is, Spring has Without no... losing a single knight. That's well, so yeah. brutal. And Spring doesn't have any um, infantry upgrades at the moment, which I think is quite costly, actually. Um, obviously, you're really going to want to upgrade those Axemen if he's going to be going in quite heavy into them. Uh, but quite good for Spring. He's got his early cast, uh, early Trev out, and while well, he's starting to uh, batter away at these buildings inside of the Viper's base, obviously yeah, the Viper this... up is 20 population, both now having two castles up. Yeah, Viper quite heavily housed at the moment, but I think well he was, but I don't know. He just spent a lot of resources there. Um, obviously straight away with the Halberdier upgrade, and he's going elite throwing Axeman already. So a very fast elite throwing Axeman for the Viper now. And well, I feel I like the, the Viper is a way better unit composition. I feel like uh, Cavaliers are good in team games or in deathmatch, but in 1v1 arena, it's kind of tough to get enough gold to keep yeah. on reducing I th I Cavaliers th all game. And I think you the get important such thing here. Hard, uh, cost unefficient gold trades. Yeah, I think the important thing here is to try and get the Cavaliers to focus down on the, the Axemen um, and avoid the Halberdier, which is very difficult to do. Uh, but Spring here with quite a few uh, Scorpions behind this, going to be doing quite a lot of damage to these Halberdiers. And actually, um, not a bad position at all for him, but he is getting pushed back. And Viper bringing in the Elite Throwing Axemen now with plus four defense, plus two attack, probably going to mop this up quite easily as the Axemen start to come in. And they're so cheap. Well, that's and the thing. They're just spring losing all, all his army now, and just a way better army composition for yeah. uh, the Wiper. And obviously monks as well. Not really going to be trading all that well if they convert the Axemen here. Um, it's not really going to work out so well. I think now. Um, obviously, Scorpion's going to be extremely effective in this position, but just not enough of them. Oh, no, and then now he's losing all his monks, and look at the right side, another bad beat for the spri uh, for Spring, who's yeah. blocked by his own walls, do not build to see there. Not not good at all, the Viper just busting out into the Imperial Down there. Down to pop 70, and wow. uh, the Viper at pop 130. Yeah. Controlling Spring. the whole map, getting the stone and the gold on the left side. Spring going to have to get back now, but I, I don't know, he... He could still make a little bit of a comeback here, but it will be incredibly difficult. Uh, the village account for Spring is at uh, 59. The Viper has 82, uh, but the military for the Viper is 52 compared to Spring's 11. So, you know, Viper has five times the military size at this stage. And with castles um, starting to bear down, sorry, trebuchet is starting to bear down on Spring's castles. Aaron, no, just, no traps coming out either. It's, it's, just compare the X Men. It's like um, plus four, plus four, plus one against plus one, plus one. 
Yeah. That's so brutal. Exactly, the difference is, is huge, and, well, Spring has no answer to these, to these traps at the moment, which is a little bit worrying, because uh, if he loses his castles, he loses his um, throwing axemen production, but at the moment, he's uh, switching into onagers, and, well, archery range is coming out at the front as well. So, I don't know, he's doing chemistry at the moment as well, so I think he's really looking to try and counter these axemen where he can. And I think Onage yeah. is a great choice for that, actually, as well. As well as hand cannons, of course. Yeah, uh, hand cannoneers and Onagers are okay, but they're so... Expensive. Yeah, gold is expensive as well. They're... And finally, Spring is getting the for Force Relic. Yeah, they are co very, very costly, but you've got to remember as well, Spring is now going to have that fourth relic as well, which is a much more relic gold income. So if he can actually take out and trade very well with this army, then the Viper may not have uh, a whole lot of gold to support yeah. him in the Imperial He has to get age. the game as long as possible now, and just try to survive to minute 35 or 40 even. Yeah, uh, the the interesting thing here is Spring actually has an extra gold inside of his walls, but he's not scouted it right on the corner yeah, of the map. Yeah. So you know we're gonna miss that one. Viper as well now with the Onager upgrade though, so we're gonna be looking to uh, do good damage there. And well, Onager's just gonna be so good at flattening infantry here. Uh, of course, through a few throwing axemen behind, but Spring completely switching out of axemen now. Instead, going for hand cannons, and you know I think hand cannons are pretty good, uh, a good unit choice indeed. Viper adding heavy scorps, that's weird. Yeah, wants to well. basically wants to build every unit in the game as it feels. Well, that's the thing, I, I think he's got a lot of gold to spend here and he's doing it quite well. But look at these Axemen, they're gonna get so flattened by the Onagers now. Um, so much damage coming in from the Onagers, and you know, the Axemen can't even reach them because they only have five range. So, Viper losing a lot of units at the moment and you know it's not very often you get to see heavy scorpions and onagers together uh i do like this unit composition but uh yeah. absolutely uh, yeah crazy. but i feel like uh, oh. although spring traded quite great yeah uh, yeah he couldn't afford to lose those units he traded really well he flattened about six on uh, heavy scorpions with that onager shot there um you know he has lost his, his kill to loss ratio is much better at the moment, but he is lacking uh, the units. And well, he's housed at the moment, which is nasty. He's and he's losing his last gold miners as well now on the left hand side. Oh, yeah. And that's, now that's Wiper knocking down the front gate. And uh, well, he's got bombard cannons coming in as well. Um, Spring about to lose against his relics. 180. Now that's going to be so horrible. If Spring loses these relics, it's going to be nasty. I hope one last shot on that Onager before it goes down. And, well, I think we're going to see GG very shortly now as this massive force of Siege, um, hand, uh, Elite Throwing Axemen, and Halberdiers just start. Wow, what a unit com through. combination. <laughs> it's so just, weird. <laughs> it yeah. is weird, but it's so strong as well. It's like yeah. just. It's it's great. Uh, Castle here for Spring. Going to give him a little bit of. Um, Oh, of an opportunity to defend, but I think he's going to really regret missing the gold in the back of his base here. And now he wants to get the uh, gold on the bottom, but shut down by Viper instantly. Yeah, yeah. Having yeah. such a nice map awareness all the time. Yeah, Viper though, I still think, you know, trading is actually, yeah, it's starting to go much further in favor of the Viper now. Um, wow. Adding all those cavalry archers. So Bows players want to produce any unit in the game and it well, feels only champions missing now. Yeah, well that's the thing, isn't it? Um, they're just trying to get units out. They had the resources, but Spring now completely out of gold. No gold income whatsoever, and he's literally going to have to rely on trash here. He still has 110 population though, and the Viper on 180. How many Bombard Cannons are there? That is just nuts. Wow, um, that's so brutal. And now he's just rolling uh, <laughs> through the base off. Spring and wow. GG well played, and that we will was see a good game. the Wiper in the final, and we will see Spring back into the game of decider uh, for place three and four. Yeah, the bronze match. Uh, but that was a great game. I love. I just love the Viper's composition at the end there. Just so much siege, just uh, the Axemen, everything um, coming in there. I think we saw pretty much every unit in the game, as you say. <laughs> so brilliant. But. Uh, yeah, I think Spring played that, considering he had such a bad uh, Dark Age, 
uh, such a bad feudal age. I think he did pretty well to come back in the castle age there, and, you know, he really turned it around, but ultimately, the Viper took control of the golds, he took control of the map, and, well, that was it for Spring at that stage after that gold dried up. Yeah, so true, and I feel like you can't go for the Chevaliers in this matchup. If mm. you, you have to raid your enemy on every position, but if it's if your enemy can control the fight and you have to fight against Halps and X-Men, you're just wasting way, way, way too much gold. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Uh, but anyway, Viper through to the final. I'm definitely looking forward to the final games here. It will be a best of seven. Uh, but before that, we've got Ra versus Bajiofro. Then we have the bronze match between the loser of uh, Ra and Bajiofro, uh, who will play against Spring to decide third place. And finally... Uh, we'll have the grand finals. So, very exciting stuff. Don't go anywhere. Plenty more games coming up. But uh, for now, we're going to come out.